Tonight, through cheering medical staff, the tankers carrying heating oil were rolling into Charing Cross Hospital. The five-week stranglehold on oil deliveries by striking maintenance men had apparently simply disintegrated. It came after a confusing day, which started with the picket's makeshift hut demolished and the doctors and nurses taking over the picket line. It meant the hospital was able to struggle through today after a dawn oil delivery. That came just two hours before the huge storage tanks here would have run dry. Plans to evacuate patients were postponed, as across the road, two lone pickets watched with instructions not to Can talk. Can you tell me why you're not on the picket line this morning? Is, is the dispute over? Their 45 colleagues, meanwhile, had considered tactics and emerged from a hastily arranged meeting of their own. They told management that while the strike went on, the picket was lifted. For how long, though, they wouldn't say. So tonight, the counter picket stays on and the majority of wards stay locked. It means two-thirds of the beds remain closed until the striker's intentions are absolutely clear. For patients still inside, like these in a cancer ward, today's development at least relieves their anxiety that tonight there would be no heat. Throughout, they've been too ill to be moved, although even here, exceptions had to be made. Where do you come from? Because I live in London, I've had to be an outpatient rather than an inpatient. So, that in fact, I've had to travel to and from the hospital each day um, in the last few weeks. Have you had the drip with you as well at the same um, time? No, I've had to come in for the drip during the day, whereas, of course, it would be preferable if I could be in hospital and resting at the same time. How did you get here? Um, in fact, by tube and then walking. Despite their stand, the action by nurses and doctors is really only a stopgap. Immediately, another 15 tanker loads are needed, and until the engineer's dispute with management is finally settled, oil supplies and thereby a hospital service here are not guaranteed. Nick Gowing, News at 10, at the Charing Cross Hospital.